.NET Core iService Collection extension. Before start coding, I would like to give a brief introduction. .NET Core has built-in dependency injection and we can apply it for our services. This is straightforward. Just add them to the iService Collection in the Configure Service Pipeline in the Startup class. Sometimes we need to add many services and make the Configure Service Pipeline untidy. We can clean this up a bit. The service collection extension pattern is exactly what it says. We add our service messages in an static class where we extend the iService collection, namely the services. Then register each service method in the configure service pipeline in the startup class. The final goal is to keep this pipeline as clear as possible. This tutorial process has been divided into six steps. Now I will show each step and its tasks. Step 1. Create a .NET 5 web API project with default settings. Step 2. Configure services and the configure pipeline in the startup class. Step 3. Add NuGet packages for extension service messages to be added. Step 4. Add following two extension service messages. First, configure course. Second, configure versioning. Step 5. Register extension service messages in the startup class. Step 6. Finally, as an implementation example of the added extension service messages, Add version information to the controller method, namely URL in the web API. Click the create a new project button. This is the template for ASP.NET Core Web API with C Sharp. I would like to select this. With the selection, move next. Project location, select this folder, select folder, with the settings, move next. I am going to use the .NET 5 with the selection. Now I am ready to create this project. Click the create project button. The project has been created successfully. This is Solution Explorer window. There are several items including folder and files. This is the content of the startup class. Now let's look at the startup constructor. In default, it is injecting by configuration service. In practice, we can inject other services as well. For example, we can inject iWeb host environment and we can also inject iHost environment. Now we are injecting iConfiguration service only. In default, there are two messages in this class. The first one is configure services, the second one is configure. The configure services and the configure. Configure services method is the place we can register as many as services. However, we can register services in an extension method and then we can call that extension method here and it also gives us the same functionality. Namely, related groups of registration can be moved to an extension method to register services. We will add some services in an extension method later. The second method is configure. This method uses to configure the HTTP request pipeline. Namely, this pipeline is composed as a series of middleware components. Each component performs operations on an HTTP context and either invokes the next middleware in the pipeline or terminates the request. Namely, all request is comes to inside this method and the related middleware process that requests 
so we call this request processing pipeline and this two method is very important at the starting point of the application in the next section we will customize this application by adding some services in the extension methods then that extension method will be called inside the configure services method let's install packages this is the application i just created i have listed packages to be installed here i just copy the package name and the paste is to the manage nuget packages tool then select the latest stable version and click the install Now I have installed all packages. In the next section, I am going to add some folder and add some extension messages. Now I am going to add extension methods. Now we have add configure cause method. Now let's add the second extension method and this method going to add version information to the application.
Now I have added extension method of configure version. Okay, now I have added the extension messages to the startup class. Save it. I have added all extension messages. We have one issue here. Actually, we have added cause policy inside the configure cause. Namely, I have added this cause policy inside the configure cause extension method i have called this extension method inside the startup so i need to add this functionality as well so i need to add this okay now i have added the configures cause inside the configure services now i am going to add corresponding middleware in the configure namely app use cause then add this method this policy copy then okay that's it now save it let's try to load this application this application should be loaded inside the swagger because the swagger application is added in default okay before run it i need to edit this okay let's run it this is the first time loading it okay it loaded it works great this is the default controller so let's click this let's try it out okay now we have this example value here and if i click this execute it will be returned the default value inside the controller okay it returns the value now we don't have version information in the url therefore we need to add it first stop the api actually i have added configure version extension method previously let's see it first here i have added configure version extension method in the extension messages class then i have called this method in the startup class as well yeah i have called it now the next step is if i add some attributes to the controller method this will work let's do that this is the controller weighted that's it now let's try it now there is version information in the url let's try it try it out now we need to enter version information version 1 execute now we have version information in the url thank you for your watching please subscribe